It's a beautiful day in our permaculture orchard in zone 5A. You can see the garlic pushing up there. There's maybe, it's over 100 in that bed. I just planted Cipollini sweet onions, 100 of them right here in this little area. Eight inch spacing, because I want big onions. Now our main issue is the invasive grass getting into our boxes here. We lined them seven years ago, but that's over. So you gotta go in and take out all those tubers uh, ahead of the season. So I got a couple more boxes to hit, but I've got onions planted here and here, more sweet onions. And uh, all of your pruning needs to be done. You should have that done in January because the flowers, the, the buds are popping. This is a pear. Looks like a couple weeks out from flowering. Uh, some of our currants have already leafed out. And you can see more of that invasive grass here. I gotta get it out. Beautiful day. It's like almost 70s, upper 60s. I planted this with some garlic I found buried. Um, in that front row there and about 40 red onions in here and there's another garlic bed now one of the things I'm, I'm using to try to fix this invasive grass problem I've never tried it is to smother the bed over the winter so I haven't taken a look at that so I'm going to leave it a couple more weeks here before I take a look if that worked but what I want to do these are great tools they are called grass knives. Great for chop and drop. I want to bring you up here into this, our earth tube heated geothermal greenhouse and just show you the jungle that I'm creating in here because we can't plant a lot of the trees I'm buying at the centers because they're south of here in a different zone and they're already leafing out so they would die so i gotta wait a few months on this to put these trees out here are the biggest trees i've ever bought five gallons uh we've got a red bartlett pear i think will do real good here it goes down to minus 40 and that looks like about a four or five year old and this is an interesting uh graft an apple combo there's one two three four apples here We've got Gala, Honeycrisp, Fuji, and our favorite here, look at this, Granny Smith. So we're going to try that tree. And we got trees everywhere, big ones. That's a seven, eight footer. That's a Jonah Mac, maybe a three-year-old tree. Here's a nice peach, another eight footer. I'm going to prune these a little lower. That's a majestic peach. I got two really nice heritage raspberries there. We're going to add that to the permaculture orchard. Here's a Saint Santa Rosa plum. I got a really nice Montmorency cherry. A lot of these have flowered out, which is why they're in here. I uh, got one tree in here. A Reliance peach. I want to thank the guy that brought me this San Pedro cactus as a gift to me at the San Luis uh, Valley Seed Exchange. That is just an awesome cactus. It's going to do well in here. Quick look at what we got going on in here. I put in some cukes. I'm going to trellis that out. Started pulling out some of the mustard. Garlic looks good. The lettuce is getting overgrown, so I'm going to harvest all this and rip it all out. Uh, the... Arugula here is bolting, but the grape looks great. And so I'll show you a few more trees. Those are citrus that we got going on in here. These are the smaller ones that cost $14.99. I got a red delicious apple, another honey crisp apple, another apple in the back. I have no idea what that is. You can see it's getting warm enough. To, I've been trying to push basil, but it finally is coming up there. Nice fig here. We've got a blue damson plum. I'm going to be switching it up with the plums. Two of them. 
and another peach over there, a Red Haven peach. Got this dwarf mulberry that's going to go out this year. And one of our uh, fans emailed me, and we traded some plants. I, ma I mailed him some sorrel. And what else did I mail him? Oh, some Jerusalem artichokes. And he sent over 18 of his strawberries. So we're going to have those out there. We've also got some goji and a bunch of different raspberries here. Four different raspberries I got going on. All different varieties, including Boyne and a few heritage varieties, as well as this. Um, what is that? Okay, it's another berry bush. Superfood. So that's what we got growing. Plus, I've been doing a lot with these cactuses. I love proliferating cactus and giving them away to friends and folks for gifts when we go to the house. These ball cactuses just flowered. This is some of our native cactus from the backyard. I got some four o'clocks, some calendula. These are bachelor buttons. All kind of flowers going. Some veg up here and flowers. Some collards and larkspur and some more cukes. And then we got flats and flats. Take a look at that shark. Gorgeous. Flats and flats of veg there. Cauliflower in the back. Uh, kohlrabi. Cabbage. And yeah. So that's what we got growing. What are you growing? Leave a comment below. Hit the like button. And share this video with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Amen.